In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite heart, Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners Christe eleison. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have taught us to chasten our bodies for the healing of our souls, enable us, we pray, to abstain from all sins and strengthen our hearts to carry out your loving commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Lord, great and awesome God, you who keep your merciful covenant toward those who love you and observe your commandments. We have sinned, been wicked, and done evil. We have rebelled and departed from your commandments and your laws. We have not obeyed your servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, our fathers, and all the people of the land. Justice, O Lord, is on your side. We are shamefaced even to this day. We, the men of Judah, the residents of Jerusalem, and all Israel, near and far, and all the countries to which you have scattered them because of their treachery toward you. O Lord, we are shamefaced like our kings, our princes, and our fathers for having sinned against you. But yours, O oh Lord, our God, are compassion and forgiveness. Yet we rebel against you and pay no heed of your command, O oh Lord, our God, to live by the law you gave us through your servant, the prophets. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Our response, son. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Let the prisoner's sign come before you with your great power. Free those doomed to death. Then we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And and with you. Next, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be merciful just as your Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. 
Give and gifts will be given to you a good measure, packed together, shaken down and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. But the measure with which you measure will in turn be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Forgiveness is one of the hardest things that we are called to do as Christians. And to understand forgiveness, it has taken me years to realize this, uh, but to understand forgiveness, one has to realize you're, you're not, for, it's not about the other person per se. Uh, Forgiveness more is for my own healing. Sometimes we try to carry in our minds the, the, the notion that if this event is uh, problematic, if it's a small thing or it's traumatic, if it's a large thing, if this thing wouldn't have happened, then, but that's only fool's gold. Uh, you have to acknowledge that the event did happen. And that's the first stage to learn to forgive for your own healing. Because I've come to realize, again, it's, it's taken years to realize this. But here I, we go at night, like so many of us go at night, and we go to bed and we're still thinking about the situation. It's still bothering us, giving us the, the acid reflux. The other person is sound asleep, man. They're not being bothered by it. But we have to start for ourselves. Now, when we forgive someone, it doesn't necessarily mean we have to invite them back into our life or trust them again and tell them everything that we would prior. No. The old saying, I can forgive, but I can't forget. There's a little truth in that. And that we realize that this person is not owning the trust, then trust should not be given. Trust has to be earned. And for you and I, we have to, in some instance, look and kind of protect ourselves in these situations. Doesn't mean that we have to become a shell so hard that no one can pierce but yet we have to be reasonable. We have to hold on to those people who have earned our trust, those true friends. And you know, those true friends probably can only count them on one hand. Many acquaintances, very few true friends. They've earned our trust. And they can help and assist us in learning how to forgive. It's easier to forgive the other. The real complicated issue that we'll have to explore maybe another time is how does one forgive oneself for the situations that have happened? That's, uh, that's not a uh, weekday home. I don't even know if that would be sufficed in a weekend home, but that's more of a, a day-long talk. But it begins it always must begin by realizing the only person who I'm hurting is me. So what can I do with God's grace and assistance? And he may assist us through things we hear, people we meet, books we read. He's there to assist us to start to realize that we're flawed. We're flawed. We make mistakes. Others make mistakes. And that's the first step, I think, in true forgiveness of even ourselves. I'm flawed. Not as an excuse, but it's just a reality. I'm flawed. And if I am flawed, so are everyone else. May Almighty God be with you. May He bless you.
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians who pray for the Lord. Lord God. God. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day. And let us remember all the victims of the coronavirus virus, and especially the Catholic Church in Italy during this time as they close their doors to the, to the Mass for protection of their parishioners. We pray for the Lord. Lord God. God. Let us pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who watch this Mass on video. And for the needs of you here present in our church today, we pray for the Lord. Lord God. 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 And finally, let us pray that the infinite Prague will continue to watch over the finances of our two parishes. May we always have enough of what we need. We pray for the Lord. Lord, Lord God. God. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory and be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work with human hands will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be offered to God, the Almighty Father. Accept in your goodness these our prayers, O Lord, and set free from worldly attractions those you allow to serve the heavenly mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And we lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels. As with one voice of praise, we claim. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Lenny Suncheri et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in Excelsis, Benedictus Quimini in Nomine Domini, Hosanna in Excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
And at the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and it, give me thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. By your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking up the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, O our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from every Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. But not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. May this communion, O Lord, cleanse us of wrongdoing and make us heirs to the joy of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, with you. and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. 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 Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in heaven. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. Yeah. May God be with you when we humbly pray. And may you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, for us in heaven, save the Lord, and 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 the Lord, Blessed be God, blessed be His holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be His most sacred heart, blessed be His most precious blood, blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Consoler, blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy, 
Blessed be your holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be your glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, your most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and his saints.